Live from New York. It's the show that is recapping the First Things First Bowl. It's First Things First today. Nick, was there ever a doubt? <laughs> was there ever a doubt? <laughs> Brew, what'd they do? Because this game wasn't in Kansas City. Nah. This game was wouldn't. in Baltimore. I'll they let you, I'll let they, you they went to the bank. Mm-hmm. They broke into their house. Yeah. <laughs> they found their favorite robe. Oh. They found their favorite slippers. They sat in their lazy boy. And, Brew, what did they then make themselves? I, I actually have an answer for that. What did they make themselves? Well, they told the Ravens, we don't want your stinking ham sandwich. Oh. Make us some sloppy jokes. Well, you know That's what? what they told okay, uh, well, but disagree. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> if we could, they said, make us the biggest and best sandwich you got you've ever sandwich? seen. Oh, I've got I mean, a thought, sandwich uh, wait, befitting wait, the evening. Wait, what? Because that's what they did, Brew. And while the sandwich bit is yours, <laughs> thank you, everyone. And there's oh, a nice large why soda Why did I pop never have a sandwich? And that's a sandwich. Because it was never befitting like the moment. Can. And But Ooh. while you asked me, yes. was there a doubt? How could there be a doubt? When I gave you the exact recipe on Friday. He did. And now I blew the score. I said 1913. I was way off. It was 1710. Four Lamar sacks. How many times did he sack through? Four times. Three Mahomes throws. We'll get to that in a moment. Two back-breaking Mahomes scrambles. He actually had three. One defensive pass interference on scene. I missed that. Instead, it was one egregious holding call that took away a touchdown. And, of course, zero Patrick Mahomes turnovers. If we can show you those three big Mahomes throws to start the game. The greatest quarterback ever to the greatest tight end ever for the greatest playoff connection ever. Bam. Later in the game, third and five, critical play. It's Patrick Mahomes saying, Lamar, this is what you try to be, but I actually am. And then to ice the game for the much maligned MVS who Chris Broussard had kicked out of the league. Patrick Mahomes believed it. (laughs) it. And so that's. The Mahomes piece of it. The then there is the defensive master class where this defense that I told you was underrated, this defense that I told you that was doing what the Ravens were doing without forcing turnovers, but what if they start forcing turnovers? They made the MVP look pedestrian. So the actual MVP could keep adding to his resume, which at this point is impossible to believe, so I just have to keep showing it to you. Patrick Mahomes, postseason, all-time ranks, first in everything. Despite that, though, Brew, he has had one bad postseason moment, the second half against Cincinnati. Since right, then, right, right. what has since Patrick Mahomes' one postseason mistake, well, he hasn't turned the ball over. That's an all-time record. They haven't lost. That's pretty good. And he has done it as an underdog, injured, and on the road. And then, last but not least, there was, finally, thankfully, in the nick of time, some Ravens bulletin board material, uh. courtesy, <laughs> if I can quote, misquote Peyton Manning, their idiot kicker, Justin Tucker, who once upon a time was known for being the greatest kicker ever. Now he's known for this. These silly hijinks right before the game, poking Mahomes and Kelsey, which then led to the greatest game of Kelsey's career and a perfect Mahomes playoff game. So for the first of many, if we could, please, drop the damn banner. Hey, Justin Tucker, oh. practice somewhere else. <laughs> he got 100 by 52 yards. Go find somewhere else to practice, not where Mahomes is warming up. So, no, from that moment, Brew, there was no doubt. Is that, that it? That, that, I, I'm waiting for more banners. Oh, that, you I'm know waiting what? for like You know what? More banners might be coming. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I, I got to say something I don't think wise I've ever said on this show. And this is hard because I've never said it. Nick. You were right. Yeah. <laughs> Never. I don't know how many shows I've been on. It's oh, been a lot. Been a hundreds. But the Chiefs are incredible. Yeah, we told you this. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> I want to look. I can sit here and praise the Chiefs. You, you did a good job. I got to say something about the Ravens. Please. The Chiefs showed championship medal and composure. And the Ravens self-imploded. I'm not taking anything from the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat them fair and square. The Ravens self-imploded. 
The most, one of the, the most impressive thing this Chiefs may have done was they shook the Ravens. Yeah. They and the, Ra- the they made the Ravens forget who they were. Mm-hmm. They lost their identity. After Mahomes moved down the field with those two first possessions to score, the Ravens start saying, oh, we can't stop him. Even though our defense is number one, even though it was historic, we can't stop him, so we're going to have to win a shootout. So we're not running the ball anymore. Seemed odd. They led the league in rushes, 32 carry rushes a game. They rushed 16 times yesterday, and a lot of those were scrambles. Gus Edwards had a nice 15-yard gain in the first quarter, doesn't touch the ball the rest of the first half on a rush. All right, so they forgot who they were, and I'll give the, the, the Chiefs and Mahomes mystique credit for that because even though the Ravens' defense buckled down and started playing well, they still were like we, – they panicked. We got to score. We got to throw the football. We can't run. And then the second thing was, like I said, the Chiefs showed championship character. And I hate to say it because I, I, I didn't just pick the Ravens. I like the Ravens. And you've been rolling with them all year. They look like some bullies. And what I mean by that is they bullied everybody. They bullied, they bullied the two teams that played after them, mm-hmm. the, Lion, the, the Lions and the Niners. Yep. Once they realized we can't bully or we can't, we, we're, not gonna, we're not beating this team on the field. In fact, we're getting bullied. They said, all right, if we can't get them on the field, let's get them through dirty pool. Right? right? So then you see they had five 15-yard penalties. You got the one where on the one possession when the Chiefs got the field goal at the end of the first half, you had two 15-yard penalties. Kyle Van Noy headbutts Travis Kelsey. Yep. Then, then uh, Jones, you know, close lines Mahomes. The, the, that was a 52-yard field goal. I'm not sure the Chiefs get that without the 30 yards you gave them in penalties. Yeah. And then I got to say this. Because that what those reminded me of was Mike Tyson fighting Evander Holyfield, realizing he's not afraid of me. He's not intimidated. I might not beat him, so he bit his ear. And that's what the Ravens resorted to, I hate to say. Last thing I got to say, Zay Flowers, take. who is a wonderful player. Yeah. You want to revisit that Zay, with Rice, Zay Flowers conversation? I'm ready for I that. think Zay is better personally, but Zay, you catch a 54-yard pass, get to the 10-yard line of the Chiefs. What in the world are you taunting about? You're down 10 points. You've been getting beat up the whole game. You're taunting? What that I don't think. I think if he doesn't taunt and they stay at the 10, I think they score before the end of the third quarter. Now you're going into the fourth quarter down three. It might be a different game. But Zay blew – so they really – the Chiefs, I'm not going to say they beat themselves because the Chiefs played great. But the Ravens just self-imploded, self-destructed. I I heard – that was perfect. That was really well done. Mm -hmm. Did you hear on I was wrong or I'm sorry? Guys. No, I heard Nick was right. I <laughs> well, heard, if Nick was right, I, it, well, but, yeah, but you know, here. sometimes I it's was, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We've I've got never said this. It. We've got right. life. We've, okay. got well, we've got 55 years. We've got nine I years. was. <laughs> you can save it. You yeah. can save it. Uh-huh. Mahomes got out to an early lead in the Kansas City defense. This is what no one would acknowledge all year. And it was one thing for all, all of the FS1 personalities who were asked on our fun TikTok video to pick the Ravens. That's fine. They were the favorites. They were the best team. They had the best resume. And we decided to do a cool thing in NFL analysis this year, which was pretend like this was the first year the NFL existed. And God forbid we trust the best coach, the best quarterback in the team with all the history. Where it was just, nope, we have to act like no games had ever been played before September of 2023. But that's fine. (laughs) But even under those auspices, it wasn't that everyone was picking on this network and other networks, the Ravens. It was, everybody. It was the scores. Do you know how many people I saw? 31-27. 38-24. 30-20. Uh, I, I understand not everyone has Sunday ticket. I imagine most commentators do. Are you aware of what the Chiefs defense is? <laughs> Are you? And if you weren't watching them through the regular season, did you watch them play? The two of the three highest scoring teams in football going in the AFC in the playoffs, Miami and Buffalo, going into this game and what they did to them. And I tried to tell you guys. We'll show you the second half for now the last two months if we can. What have they done? Kicked everybody's ass. On that side of the ball. And Miami was an excuse because it was cold. And Buffalo, the reason they didn't score is because they were missing linebackers. And the Ravens, I'm not sure what the answer is going to be. But I'm sure someone will make make something up. 
Instead, the Chiefs, who had a vision, we are going to take a few steps backward on offense to take 30 steps forward on defense. It went exactly according to plan defensively. People acted like it was make-believe. And then there's the Mahomes side of it, who is simply, for this team in particular, the perfect playoff quarterback. Because, Brew, he can make those three plays we showed you, but he also, as we showed you in the previous graphic, six straight games without a turnover, all-time postseason record. What are the Chiefs when they don't turn the ball over? The answer is pretty much unbeatable. This season, they have one loss when they don't lose the turnover battle, and that turnover was a pick six in week one. So mm -hmm. that's kind of two turnovers. Right. In the last five years, if Mahomes doesn't turn it over playoffs in regular season, they're 25-1. and one. So Patrick, even though he know, you know what? I will, in the second half of this game, sacrifice some of my numbers yeah. and throw the ball away or go down. He got sacked for the first time all postseason. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a perfect combination, which is why, and we've got to drop a banner for the defense if we could, please, because the defense, I really hope the banner comes down eventually. If not, we can, there we go. The defense makes fools of offenses and punters. Ah. And then if we can brew, drop a banner for Patrick Mahomes, because Patrick Mahomes is quite simply the perfect playoff. Oh, my goodness. What does that say, Wilds? I didn't even realize it. Practice makes perfect. Because you know why? Oh, gosh darn no, here they were not. practicing for this moment, for this gauntlet to play Miami, Buffalo, and Baltimore. To have a perfect game plan against Buffalo and then a perfect game plan against Baltimore. How do you do that if you spend all year practicing so you can then be perfect in the biggest moments? I'm not, I don't know if <laughs> you're I'm giving that one a category too. That's good, though. He can it's say what good. he wants today. You, des you, you can gloat. You deserve to gloat. I, I'm not sure where you're at. I don't know if you're with them basically or not. basically right there. It's like you one can or two. gloat. <laughs> So it's, what's, your answer is just both. Yeah. I mean, that, that's why I said on the call it's a tough question because both the defense was great. If I have to pick, I will say Mahomes. Again, I don't want to slight the defense at all. But Mahomes, uh, remember I said last week if he wins this game, there's going to be a mystique about him where teams are just like, I mean, he won this game without his all-pro center, without <coughs> Willie Gay at all-pro guard, without his um, Willie Gay, the linebacker, yeah, no in a year where they hadn't been good. In a year where the offense hadn't looked good, their first two series, it was like the old offense. Yep. And that's what shook the Ravens. And that mystique, which I thought would be there now, is, was there before the game. Maybe not quite before the game for the Ravens, but once they saw those two drives, it was like you were talking about last week, Buffalo changing stuff because the threat of most. Yes. They changed their whole – I hope they changed their game plan because if you went into the game, right. like we're going to throw 40 times essentially with Lamar and not run the football, then that was a crazy game plan. So I would go with Mahomes just because his persona, who he is, what he's done – made the Ravens forget their identity. But the I, defense, nothing but I props think that's a really – because you're basically saying part of the Ravens' offensive struggles was the specter of Mahomes staring across the field. Yeah. And I think that's probably right. I think that, I think that had him shaken up to a degree beforehand. All right, let's turn our attention to Lamar. 272 yards through the air. Hey, Brew, how much of this is on Lamar? Well, interestingly enough – Lamar and I have had a similar experience this year. Oh, oh, I, really? I had a great regular season in predictions. Oh. Broke the upset alert record. Oh, it did. Excellent. Playoffs did. has been another story. Yeah, upset alert's been <laughs> tough. Yeah. So, um, look, the co I, I thought Andy Reid and Steve Spagnola coached circles. And I, I think John Harbaugh is a great coach. Got nothing but respect for him and his staff. But they, they got out coached dramatically. All right. The defense – Obviously picked it up. I think the the Chiefs' last eight or nine possessions, punts. they had All three, punts. yeah, and, and a field goal, a field goal and a bunch of punts. So the defense stepped up, and let's face it, if the Ravens had won this game, however they won it, Lamar would have got the most credit. That's the whole season for Lamar. Mm -hmm. That Lamar, his he's going to win the MVP, even though his numbers are not. MVP numbers because they won. And I'm not saying he wasn't great and didn't deserve it, but his numbers, he got all the credit, essentially. That's right. And so if he gets all the credit, I have to give him the lion's share of the blame. You mentioned the two turnovers. He, he, he was bad yesterday. And here's what 
I want to say to Lamar in trying to be such a pocket passer and, and prove to everyone he's a pocket passer, I think he's forgotten what he does best or at least what one of his incredible attributes is, and that is running. Now, to me, he runs like the other quarterbacks. Sure, he's more shifty and quicker, but he runs to – as a last resort, mm-hmm. or just to slide. I'm slide as a somewhere. weapon. So, like, that, right, he doesn't use it the way he does. I think we have a video of his first run where this is fourth down. Yeah. He runs for 20. Now, in the old days, a couple years ago, I think Lamar tries to run away from Snead. Go outside and just use your speed. I don't know that he could have run away from him, but I thought Lamar was kind of, he's looking back like, I'm not trying to break this and take it to the house. And that is a big part of Lamar. And I thought yesterday, Nick, he should have scrambled more. Yeah. He 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 was he was biding time looking downfield and your defensive backs were so good. Nobody's open. So run. Yeah. And I think I, that he's got to find that happy medium between yes, I'm a pocket passer, but I know I can run better than any it, quarterback in history. So let I, me use it. I also think that that play made me think he's not quite as fast as he yeah, was. Yeah, I don't know that, that he could have run away. The, from I don't think Steve. he could now, but it feels like as a rookie, he definitely or second year like and so right. it just maybe just a tiny tiny bit not as fast, but it's a weird spot because I'm rooting for the Chiefs, believe it or not. I don't wave pom-poms, but, you know, I have my well, rooting interests. Uh, and we're playing the team with the MVP quarterback. And I was like, Mick, just, just turn this into a downfield passing game. And I going into the game, and it's not because he can't do it, but it's because the rest of it is so much scarier. Right. And because the Chiefs, to be fair, I trust the Chiefs' corners. But for Lamar, those ghosts of playoff pass now – the, these two graphics I'm going to show you are going to be jarring. Every year of his career that he's made the playoffs, their season low in points, we can show it to you, came in the playoffs. Tricky. Mm. So that's 100%. Brady had happened to him five times in 20 postseasons. Peyton had happened four times in 16. Josh Allen has happened once in five. P- Patrick has happened once in six, the Super Bowl against Tampa. For Lamar, every single year. And then you have this. The Ravens never get rolled in the regular season. So that is twice in 77 games in the regular season, he's never had a lead. And four out of six times in the playoffs. Mm. So that that is, and Brew, I don't know where you, I felt and we both said he needed the one awesome playoff performance mm. and that monkey's off his back. This game was so odd because his overall numbers are not terrible but watching it it felt like he made a bunch of big mistakes and they were stuck on seven for so long yeah it feels like it jumped right back on his back to a degree and it feels like the mvp award ceremony is going to be a little well that whole nfl honor is going to be really weird because none of the chiefs are invited for any award whatsoever (laughs) but that's fine um i think it's also before the super it's a weird spot they're locked in yeah well they'll be locked in you could you know skype in there's uh, no doubt so go ahead because i think people are wondering I think he can get a Super Bowl. But a lot of people are now wondering that. Like, will this yes. guy ever win a Super Bowl? And and like I said, to me, he's got to find that mix between being who he is. He's not Patrick Mahomes. He's never going to be Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right? He's going to have to do it differently. Yes, he improved as a passer, but, but you know. But, Brew, are you putting this – because earlier you were like, run more. Gus Edwards should run. Lamar's not calling all those plays. He well, might be no, making I mean, the deci- I, he's making the decision right. to scramble – but designed runs aren't there, so are you putting this on I think on he can obviously audible at the line of scrimmage. But even if he goes in at halftime or, or when they're off the field and says to the, the coaching staff, look, let's run the ball more. They respect Lamar, yeah. and I think they so, will listen to him. So with all that said, because he's the quarterback, because he's the MVP, he's going to get the lion's share of credit or blame. But I, you touched on it earlier. The Zay Flowers, forget the fumble. It wasn't just the fumble. Zay Flowers, I'm watching the pregame, and he's being interviewed. Obviously, it happened a few days ago. He's being interviewed. And they ask him about touchdown dances. And he's like, yeah, I had this one that was really good, that one. And and he's asked, do you have one playing for the AFC title game? And he says yes. And that's swag surfing. That's mocking the Chiefs and Taylor Swift. That is what you're essentially doing there is mocking the wives and girlfriends of the Chiefs' best players. Really smart move. Good call. But, Brew. It, it was not then lost on me that they are. What are they doing right there, Brew? Literally. Brew, what are they doing? <laughs> Don't. Brew, what are they doing? They're dancing. They're dancing. No. And are they here? What did LeJarrius Sneed do? <laughs> he punched the ball out. Oh my so God. you're Baltimore Ravens. <laughs>
turned in, bro, oh, to some break dancers. <laughs> the Chiefs turned the bullies into break dancers. Oh, Literal break dancers. Could you have ever seen it coming? I, I could not have. I told you. I thought they just pulled up their pants and did yeah. the rock away. No. Nope. You know, the side. Sneed punched the ball. They were break dancers. And that is how your season ended. These fellas, Ironically. you never thought they'd be wearing this shade of purple. I didn't. I mean, this is a longer routine than typical. But I, oh yeah, the fog might it's be a little fair. late. It, look, it, it's fair. They had a they had a whole prepared routine, fellas. Great job as always. Good job. Um, Thank you. See you next if week. I, if I, I hope may, to see you under better circumstances. While the next studio time. gets full of fog, I do have one other announcement to make. It's very important. We can't drop the banner yet. Wild. Yes. I have a video for you. Oh. Uh-oh. Somebody else. Oh, Guys. This is cruel. Play the video, Somebody please. else? This is Brett Veach, general manager of the Kansas City Chiefs. Kevin Wilde, welcome back. You've officially <laughs> been reinstated to Chiefs Kingdom. Let's Kevin go. Wilde, you are welcome mirror. back in the Chiefs Kingdom. We'll see you about. at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Wilde, Let's go. drop the banner. Let's go, I'm back. Wilde, you're back. You Bruce still told us. I never left. You're back. I never left. I never left. I always believed. One game against the Patriots, that's it. I believed in Bailey Zappi. I never left, and I'm back. Wild. Fellas, I'll see you at the parade. You're back, Wild. Oh, coming up next. I don't even know what we're talking about. Crack party. We're back. I did not expect that, Wild. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. About to go to well, the oh, I want to hear from Paul Rudd. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.